Bosnian Serb wartime military commander Ratko Mladic is now being held at this UN detention center in The Hague, Netherlands. His arrival there Tuesday capped a day of transition for the man charged with genocide 16 years ago. Earlier in the day, a Serbian government plane carrying Mladic arrived in Rotterdam. He was put on that flight after judges in Belgrade rejected his appeal to delay his extradition. Mladic faces charges of genocide and other war crimes for atrocities committed by Serb troops under his command during Bosnia's 1992 to 1995 war. They include the notorious Srebrenica massacre in July of 1995 and the 44-month siege of the capital Sarajevo. Mladic was arrested Thursday in a village north of Belgrade after 16 years on the run. Bringing Mladic to justice, it is satisfaction for the victims and families of all who have been victims of the crimes for which he has been charged before the ICTY. At the same time, this act represents a message relevant for the process of reconciliation in the region. This woman lost two sons at the Srebrenica massacre. She says instead of sending Mladic to The Hague, he should have faced the mothers of those who lost their children. Serb nationalists in Serbia and parts of Bosnia still consider Mladic a hero. This woman says she's glad Mladic is going to trial, saying he will prove he's not guilty. Mladic will spend his first night in detention in isolation, standard procedure for new inmates. He was also handed a copy of the indictment against him. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.